I think what's different about the Media Lab is that it's a, I think we're all here because we're trying to think about how to impact the world in a different way mm -hmm. through whatever lens we have. So, mm -hmm. so what I'm really passionate about is thinking about, gee, how can music actually make more of a difference in people's lives? And how can we bridge the gap between expertise and excellence and you know, you know the, the kind of things we value in music, something where the experience is deep and profound and transformative, mm -hmm. but that's actually accessible to a five-year-old or to just an ordinary person, you know, who isn't a genius and isn't, you know, I really, I mean, it really matters to me to think that way. And I think, um, you know, in most, I don't mean to dent it, but in most music departments, I think there's a, whether, first of all, there's al already a kind of sense of, well, you know, technology and kind of new instruments, new forms, you know, is that really, you know, is that really musical? Is that as important as looking at the music itself? And then I think the question of, um, my gosh, you're thinking about musical experiences for kids or for the general public, you know, is that, I mean, that's really not what we do in university. Yeah, it's not as kind of a serious thing to do. But I, really, I do think it's serious, and I, I really love being around um, people from, you know, the guy in the lab next door is the world's, I mean, I think about it this week after this Boston bombing, he's the world's top intelligent prosthetics designer. Mm. He lost both his legs when he was 17 in a climbing accident. Mm. And um, he told me that he was an awful student, just loved mountain climbing. And he happened to have an accident, like he got frostbite, had his legs amputated, and he was so upset with how bad the artificial legs were mm -hmm. that he decided to devote his life to making artificial legs that were better than real ones. Mm -hmm. And so now when you, when you, you know, there's all this talk this week about, with you know, with all this horror, there's been a huge advance over the last 10 years, unfortunately, because of Afghanistan and Iraq. You know, these artificial limbs are actually getting better because of people like you.